We also looked and saw, and it was really appalling, what's happened in so many American universities in response to the Hamas terrorist attacks. Before the blood was even dry uh, on the Israeli civilians who were massacred, you had college students going out and demonstrating in favor of Hamas. And I, I was the first presidential candidate to say, and I know a lot of them have now said the same, but no one, you know, I'm always first and then people kind of follow through. That's how we've governed Florida and that's how we are in this. But I said very clearly that when I'm president, if you are in our country on a student visa and you're making common cause with Hamas, I am canceling your visa and I'm sending you home where you belong. We also saw the rise of these chapters called Students for Justice in Palestine. And this is a group that took pains to say that they don't, quote, stand in solidarity with what Hamas did, that they are one in the same with what Hamas did. Well, you know, you may have a First Amendment right to say a lot of dumb things, but you do not have a right to give material support to terrorists. So we deactivated the Students for Justice in Palestine in the state of Florida. It's done. And we're not going to put up with this. I'm sick of funding our enemies. We're not doing that anymore in this country. But it raises, a, uh, and yes, we're happy to take action in Florida, but if you look, and if you looked at some of the university presidents in Florida and the statements they put out, they weren't morally equivalent. They were very strong. That's what it should be, yet that was so rare as to what was going. You now have in most of these uh, universities, if you're a Jewish student, you don't feel safe even going to class in some of these places. Do you want to go to Cooper Union with how they handled uh, that? This has been disgraceful, but it's been very eye-opening because, oh, look, I got through both Harvard and Yale and came out more conservative than when I went in. That's not easy to do. I know campus leftism. I've been there. But even in my day, I would have never saw that type of activism where you're actually celebrating terrorists and openly being anti-Semitic. This is like something that in the media doesn't care when they're doing it. They give them a free ride when they're doing it. But what it raises is how sick these universities have become because they've been captured by ideology. They've been captured and corrupted by a woke agenda. Anytime these, these institutions become corrupted by that, uh, they become useless for us. And in Florida, we've taken action on that. This whole thing of DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion, that's anti-Israel. It's anti-Jewish, 100% if you take that to the logical conclusion. The way it's practiced, DEI is really discrimination, exclusion, and indoctrination. That has no place in our public universities. And in Florida, we have banned it from our public universities. It's done. But we need to take this seriously because it's only going to get worse unless we do for the country what we've done in Florida. And that is very simple. It's time for us to fight back. And fight back we must. Florida was also the first state to announce, and I'm calling the legislature back in for a special session in the next couple weeks, we are going to expand our state-based sanctions against the Iranian regime. Uh, we already have some of the strongest in the United States. We now have an ability to expand those because the money that's going to Iran, they're not using it to make the lives of their people better. They're using it to fund terrorism throughout the Middle East. So we're standing up and we're doing what's right. And again, this is about leading not with mere words, but deeds. And we've done that time and time again.